Why is there so much demand for organic food? There is a growing demand for organic food around the world. This demand is due to the concerns about health, the environment, and animal well-being. Organic food is essentially a product of crops grown from soil that has not been treated with any prohibited substance for at least three years prior to the crops being planted. A prohibited substance is defined as any synthetic pesticide, herbicide, or fertilizer. These are very harmful to crops and also a detriment to your health as well. It is also apparent that non-organic foods have very high nitrate levels. Too much nitrate in the blood affects how it transports oxygen within the body. If levels make it to 20 to 50 parts per million, this is too high and oxygen levels will drop, making it difficult to breathe. Why some people prefer organic food? People prefer organic food for a variety of reasons. It's rich in vitamins and nutrients. There are lower pesticide levels. It is better for our ecosystem. It tastes better reduces pollution, and does not contain any hormones. While organic goods are full of nutrients, vitamins, and antioxidants, there are many studies that have been unable to come to a clear resolution on this topic. For example, a study done by Harvard University found that organic produce did have the slight edge in food safety, with 30% lower pesticide residues than conventional foods. In general, pesticide levels in both organic and non-organic foods were within allowable safety limits. It's still not clear, though, just what that means to consumers' health. As you can see, while organic food may win over consumers as far as pesticide levels go, there is still no definitive answer on how this implicates our health. Are organic foods healthier? A common misconception is that organic equals healthy, However, this is not always the case. There are some organic foods that have high levels of fat, sugar, and calories. If you're a soda drinker, these are still not good for you, despite the label saying it's organic. Common organic substitutes for soda are liquid cane sugar and brown rice syrup. These are still high in sugar and should not be consumed in large amounts. Other products that offer organic substitutes that aren't very healthy include ice cream, french fries, potato chips, and macaroni and cheese. Although some of these are fine in moderation, many of them are low in vitamins or high in fat. Organic ice creams are still high in calories, and some frozen yogurt as a substitute is a much healthier choice and can still satisfy your sweet tooth. Just be mindful of the brand and read the labels carefully. Impact of organic food on our health. The validity of the organic is healthier argument is still up in the air, since we are unsure of the effect that non-organic food has on our health. A Harvard study concluded that organic and non-organic foods both had pesticide levels that were within allowable safety limits. Nonetheless, there are some positives to eating organic that are worth highlighting. Organic foods have approximately 30% fewer pesticides. They are higher in vitamins and antioxidants, and they contain much lower nitrate levels than their non-organic counterparts. Not to mention, 84% of consumers in the U.S. purchase organic food, and 45% of them purchase it on a regular basis. The organic food market is growing in sales each day, and it seems despite any inconclusiveness, the vast majority of consumers prefer to purchase organic food because of the preconceived value surrounding its name. Does your family eat organic? Tell us more about it in the comments.